I never knew what to expect when I came to Lord Howe, but it's pretty obvious as soon as you start circling it in the plane that you're landing in a paradise island. I'm Dr. Brian Lassard, aka Bri the Fly Guy, from CSIRO's Australian National Insect Collection. This trip's really allowed us to collect insect specimens from the island that haven't been collected before. I'm Jo Runciman, I'm the Chair of the Australian Geographic Society and the publisher of the Australian Geographic Journal. Lord Howe Island is a fantastic place for a scientific expedition because it's off the beaten track. I'm Juanita Rodriguez, I am a research scientist at CSIRO. One of our aims is to have a larger collection that includes as many of the species found in Australia as possible. So this expedition came about because um, one of our editors, John Prickrell, came to Pine Trees and met Luke and had a conversation about what a fantastic location it would be for some science. What's amazing about this trip is that it's not just scientists doing the sampling. Uh, the citizen scientists are really helping out. A lot of this field work that the scientists do involves a lot of manpower. In many parts of our research, uh, citizen scientists and volunteers are really, really important. If it was just me and Juanita collecting, we'd be here for months, but we've got 20 extra pairs of hands to help us sieve through the soil, sweep around our nets of the forests and vegetation, and do a lot more collecting. My partner and I love travelling, we love holidays and we do a lot of bushwalking and um, this trip has got that element to it but it's got this absolute luxury staying at this beautiful place as well. Yeah, we can go anywhere for holidays. It's not often you get an opportunity to, to be engaged in something like this and you know, to, to help out in this you know, scientific process. A lot of the island's untouched and it's exact primary forests, so a lot of the native species are still there, so it's really cool just to explore them. I think one of my favourite things was actually just seeing the personalities of the insects flying around and doing little dances in the air as they landed on the leaves of the ferns. Most people take insects for granted, but they have really vital roles in our ecosystem like pollination and nutrient recycling. And by studying them under the microscope, you can see how beautiful they actually are. And to be able to research them on a day-to-day -day basis, you fall a little bit more in love with them each day. It's been quite fun watching all our citizen scientists dash about with their nests to varying degree of success over the week. So today we'll just do some general insect collecting. Brian and Juanita are just young, fun, engaging. They're really enthusiastic and that enthusiasm sort of transfers to the group that's with them. It's always good to be involved with people who are really enthusiastic about their field. So excited. I'm going to get home and just look at them right away under the microscope. People that are, have not been exposed to what we do are getting the chance to see what we do and really value and understand how important our work is. This trip has exceeded our expectations in lots of ways. It's just so different to any other holiday we've ever had. It's perfect again. <laughs>